so now I want to do a quick tutorial for you after you watch the balancing of the Ronin MX tutorial I'll show you how to use the app to get the most out of your Ronin so we go we obviously turn on the Ronin we now go to the app which I'll load up here um, and we'll connect that just doing a quick scan here and we select the Ronin as it comes up and the first thing I just want to show you is the smooth track um, actually let's go first quickly to the more if it's a new camera and lens I would do a calibration of the system uh, which is really quick we can do that quickly here so you can see how it goes in the background you might be able to see how it's playing around with the camera and there we go that was the calibration done then we can go to smooth track which is basically when you want the gimbal to follow your movements and I've just put on pan and tilt you can turn the different axes on and off the main thing to understand down here is the smooth track settings where the speed obviously is a 15 that's how quickly it will move acceleration is common sense again it's how quickly it will accelerate from it start the movement uh, throughout you know to the top speed um, and again I wouldn't keep that very high neither the speed of the acceleration just because you know quick movements doesn't look good um, and you can quickly get a lot of issues as well so dead band that basically means you can set it to a percentage so it's zero here normally I would have it at a two to five percent it means you can move the Ronin a bit without the actual gimbal and camera following um, which is very important because as you move you do move a bit in your arms and you don't want the camera constantly to follow so it's good to have a little bit of dead band normally um, I don't always use it because I'm pretty smooth when I walk with it and again you can obviously test them the different speeds as you set it up so the next part is a motor which is the most important bit here at the bottom of the app I think what you can look at here is the power that's used on the pan tilt and roll motor and mine is zero sometimes go up to one which means that very little power is used to actually stabilize the camera and that's because it's well balanced if you suddenly have five or minus five or more um, then you're using way too much power and it's because you balance it really poorly which will give you worse results when you operate it same with the angle if the angles are 10 degrees or minus or plus 10 degrees on any of these axes here then you really balance it poorly um, and this is obviously just after you turned it on and you can see minus zero point something so it's very well balanced this is also why it's using not so much power up here you can then see the stiffness and strength settings um, which are very important actually to set and I'll just show you how you find the right because you can do an auto tune st stability but I found it not to be very accurate and very good so the main way you find the right stiffness setting which is really crucial to it moving well and steadily is by you keep sliding up you can press here you keep sliding up until the engine start vibrating and making a noise you can hear that maybe in the background and that means it's too much and then I would slide it slowly back until the engine stop making that noise so as you can hear it stopped I go a bit further down so there we go and I would do that with with the different axes as well and then obviously when you operate it if it start making a noise and vibrating it means it's too much stiffness and I would just make sure you move them down you can again then save them when you got that setting for that camera and lens um, I'm not going to save it right now and then you would have that you can see here 55 still too much you can hear it making a noise actually it's I think the tilt axis is too big yeah there we go so I go down until it doesn't make that noise anymore and then you kind of find uh, the right strength and the same here you set the strength setting um, and like I said the stiffness is the most important actually to get right here um, and yeah just play around with it make sure if it start vibrating then you just set it a bit too high the stiffness um, and you just recalibrate it down do one exit at a time and when you have the perfect setting just save it um, and that will work for that particular lens focal length as well and camera configuration um, so that's it a quick simple basic tutorial 
on how to use the app. Again, I can give you more in-depth information if you want that, but this is just a beginner tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and see you at the next tutorial. Take care, bye.